Hello YouTube! It is an amazing morning, 70 degrees. Can't help but ride today. I am off on my way to work. Well, guys, I do have a question for uh, my faithful followers of 66, 67. Do you guys want to see any videos of Off the Bike? So, guys, on this lovely morning uh, ride into work, um, I guess I'll share with you my personal opinions on why a, I bought a Suzuki GSXR. Um, so maybe like five years ago, maybe six, I don't know, I started getting into bikes. Uh, I've been into cars since I was able to get my license. But you know, you go through your whole life, you drive a couple crappy cars. I mean, for the people that are on bikes, half of them get crappy bikes, and you just kind of work your way up. Um, so I started out driving on a 89 Bonneville SE, worked my way up to a 99 Pontiac Bonneville SE, and then I got a 2003 um, Hyundai Tiburon, uh, 03 GT 5-speed. Um, they didn't make a six. They didn't make a six speed. I lied. Um, now, how that kind of contributes into this story is little to none. But when I got my Hyundai Tiburon, I'll post pictures in it, probably right here and maybe right here. Um, I supercharged it, lowered it. I mean, I made that thing very special, and that got me in the addiction to. I don't want to say going fast, but. It just got me on to the next level of stuff. Um, so I sold off the supercharger and that's actually how I pretty much got the money for my first bike. My first bike was actually almost exactly what I wanted. It was O2 uh, Gixxer 600. And I'll post a picture for that. We'll see it right here somewhere and it was black and yellow it was in my opinion one of the best colors out there especially for the year it was the best um, and the bike was perfect I loved it. it it was fast as all hell as every owner of a 600 says it was the fastest 600 out there stock gearing there's nothing wrong with that I mean speedo worked I got maybe 200 miles to a tank the bike I loved it um, I, I experimented with tires a little bit I tried out the Q3s on it I tried out the Mitchell and Pro, Pro Pilot 3s um, and I, I ended up sticking with the Mitchell and Pro, Pro Pilot 3s those are the current tires I'm working with riding um, and, uh, you know, I guess technically I felt like I pushed that bike pretty hard. And it might have been because of its age or whatever, but, you know, obviously I didn't push it that hard because I'm not a street rusty or a track goer. And it was a 2002, so, I mean, yeah. Um, but I like going fast just like pretty much every other sport biker in the world does. One of my good friends did a wheelie on his thousand, and I downshifted from like fourth to second. I, I couldn't even keep up with him. So that was my irresponsible decision then to get a Jackson 1000. Jixxer 1000, the motor was perfect for it. Um, I'll post pictures, we'll say, in this corner. And, and, and it pretty much needed some TLC. It needed some fairings, some air ducts. Uh, just, just some TLC cosmetics. 
But I knew I was, I was buying a solid bike. Well, I thought it was, and I, I did. It was a solid bike. Um, so that bike, I got the rims painted, neon green. I'll do it, I'll do it before and after for you guys. Um, and that, that bike is perfect. I, I never would have got rid of that bike because uh, that bike was exactly the way I wanted it. That bike was amazing. I loved it. Um, I still do miss it because of the way it, it looked. It was amazing. Um, but I blew the motor. And I could have got into the motor for cheap enough, maybe a hair over a thousand. I could have got into a modded motor, bored out or something for maybe about fifteen hundred. But it was old technology. It was a 2001. First year fuel injection for the uh, GSXR bikes. And yeah, so I sold my old. 01 and 02 relatively within the same 3-4 months, the same summer. And then I ended out my second year, sorry, my third year riding on a 07 1000, which is what I have now. Um, why I'm telling you guys all this, I don't know, because I need some content for a good ride. Um, this kind of is why I keep on coming back to ditches. Um, now basically, when it comes down to why I bought one, it's pretty much 99.6% um, for looks. Uh, you know, you watch the MotoGP and the bike literally comes down to the rider. Um, I'm not a fan of... This is my personal opinion. I'm not, I'm not a fan of Yamaha. They make great bikes. This is probably the only time I'll ever say that. But Yamaha is slow in the low RPM for the 600s. Their thousands are their thousands. They're not that slow at all. Um, Kawasaki. I love Kawasaki. I hate, hate admitting it. But I don't like the fact the uh, the whole high beam, low beam. Hey, your headlights out, bro. The reason I got a Jixxer is I was doing research five or six years ago when I was getting into cars and wanted a fast car. And everyone said um, the Jixxer is the most well-rounded bike with being fast, I guess. Um, the CBR was a hair slower, but equally as well-rounded. They said Yamaha was more of a track bike. They had lower torque in low RPMs, obviously. And once you got to about eight grand, then you get all your power. I mean, I right now I'm 5,000 RPMs, and I have a lot of power. But I mean, once again, this is a thousand, not a six hundred. Uh, the rumor on Kawasaki was nothing. It was a good bike, just not as fast as Jixxer. So, in my opinion, why I bought a Jixxer was for the looks. If every bike does the exact same thing, why would you buy a, a bike for its performance? That makes no sense. The way you got to do it is you got to go to a used dealership and sit on the bikes and see what feels right to you. Um, if you do it any other way, you're kind of an idiot. Don't buy a bike for its performance, buy it for its looks and its feel. Obviously, if you don't have a motorcycle license, you can't take a bike for a test drive, and you shouldn't. But. I, I went to a place called Bob Weaver Motorsports. A lot of people local will know that. I sat on the bikes and I'm like, well, this feels like I'm hunched over too much. This one feels like I'm too straight up. The gas tank doesn't feel right. My legs are fucking V for victory. Uh, my legs are too neck, too close to each other. It's just none of, none of them felt right. Uh, I, felt on a, I sat on a jet and you know what? It felt comfy. 
Um, once again, it did sit on a cowie and it did also did feel comfortable. Um, the only thing about a cowie is, you know, jigs are on like this right now. A cowie, my friend has a 636, and for some reason I feel like I'm riding all the way out here. I feel like I'm way too down. But once again, that's me and me only. My personal opinion, yes, I do love the Undertale exhaust, but I just think the tail of the Jixxer, especially the newer ones, are way better than anything. And on, on top of that, the 09 Up Jixxer 1000, I think, has the sexiest headlights around. I don't think you can beat them. So guys, that, that's why I, I bought my bike, um, I mean, obviously that's my opinion and my opinion only. That must get a little fucking rowdy. Um, another reason why I bought the Jixxer, and this is for all the fanboys out there, Guys, I'm a great mechanic, I love fixing bikes, and I wanted something to challenge me. So I bought a Suzuki Fixer. And the third reason, and most important reason why I love a Jixxer, because I'm gay. I, I am gay, guys, that's why I bought a Jixxer. video uh damn it damn out if you like the video please go ahead and uh subscribe to my channel please like my video and leave me a comment let me know why you bought what bike you ride